All right, so just to recap everything that we did here, uh, so we created a subscription that's gonna be associated with a topic that we created, that's the customer order topic. Uh, we said it's gonna be SMS, which is text messaging in this case. And we, you know, we talked about filter policies, we didn't apply it. We talked about redrive policies, again, we didn't apply it. Uh, and that's basically all you really need to know about creating a subscription. You're just gonna go to the bottom now and click on the big orange button here and just create that subscription. And if all goes well, you should see this green banner at the top here saying that this subscription got successfully created. So that is fantastic. So in terms of setup, we're pretty much done. But now the question is, how do we send messages to this topic? How do we make our phones receive notifications whenever something happens? Uh, so there's two ways to do this. Now, the, the first way is through the console here. We can see we have this button that I'm eager to click, which says publish message. And the other way is programmatically. So if you want to do this in an application, uh, maybe in your you know, Node.js app or something, then you would need the ARN of this topic that you're creating. And using the AWS SNS SDK, you would provide this as the ARN that you want to publish to and provide the payload, of course that you want to publish, and then you would just invoke the sns.publish API from the SDK, and you're pretty much done. Now let's demonstrate how this works through the console here, and it's very, very simple. So you go to the topic section like we saw over here. We're gonna click on the topic that we're interested in. We're gonna see that this button now lights up, the publish message button. We're gonna go ahead and click on that, and that brings us to this new screen. Now here's where we can set the subject. Now the subject can be anything you want. Maybe it can be, you know, customer order or, you know, some kind of theme for this message. It can even be like we were talking about before, whether or not it was placed online or in person. This is very uh, application dependent. So you can really set this to whatever you want. Uh, TTL, so time to live. Uh, this only applies to mobile application endpoints, and it's the number of seconds that the push notification service has to deliver the message to the endpoint. Not gonna get into that, probably doesn't matter for most of you. Gonna leave it as default. Now scrolling down here into the message body. Now this is where we can put in whatever we want. We can put in, you know, like we were talking about before, this is a customer ordering application potentially, right? So maybe we have, you know, customer ID. Um, I don't know, maybe it's, some random gibberish of characters. And then we have uh, type if it was, and for some reason the alignment isn't working, um, type. And that could be whether or not it was, you know, this one could be www, so it was placed online. And you can add a whole bunch of different things here. Uh, with this option that we're seeing at the top, we're saying that we want identical payload for all delivery protocols. So if you have subscribers that are, you know, application endpoints, so like a Node.js app, if you have one that's a Lambda, if you have one that's an SNS, you can send the exact identical payload to all using this default option. And if you want it to be uh, protocol specific, you can tick on this box. And this is where you need to fill out all this jazz. Not gonna get into this in this example, but this is how you would do it. So gonna go and click on this guy again. And this is where we would set the message attributes. This is what I was talking about before. Um, so you can say like, you know, it's a string and the key of this thing is, you know, purchase type maybe, right? So purchase type, I know I said type up here, but let's just keep it as purchase type. And this was a www order. So now when we publish a message to SNS, we are telling SNS that for the purchase type um, attribute, the value is www. So now SNS is gonna be able to filter this message and send it to the correct subscriptions that only care about www and not overload the ones that don't care about it with needless no op messages. So that's pretty much all you need to do at this point. The next step is just to simply click on publish message. And you can see here that this was successfully published.